Username is always administrator, but for the password, that's that's where we are going to head and we get the password for this server. Now, for you to get the password, remember we downloaded our key, but when you look at the platform where you're going to use, there's no provision for that key. Now, what we need to do is to decrypt that key so that we can get the password. And the only way you can do that is to come to connect. And then you select RDP client. You select that. And then you select get password. You select browse. And then you look for your key which you downloaded. So our key was down, we named it RDP. Hope you can see it is being decrypted. And we decrypt this key so that we can get the password from all this key. You select decrypt and the password will be given to you you copy this so what i advise you that this password will look at it it's kind of complicated what you need to do after you logging into the server they will then we will need to change the password to the easier password which you can cram easier now all i will need to do is to paste the password then i click add or oh, where you can see that I'm having a lot of servers here and I use this system to manage a lot of uh, multi servers just with one click so I need to connect all of them at once okay so our system is being booted Well, you can see that our server also so been, uh, is being booted. So it is called RDP. Let me put it to full screen mode. Okay, so that we can preview it very well. Okay. Now you can see that we have gotten ourselves uh, RDP from Amazon. And it is, when you look at it here, it is having, uh, let's look at its aspects. Uh, It is having it is three gigahertz that is a very high processor power then we are having 8 gbs of ram then we are having um it is having a intel r zeon r platinum processor but our major issue now what what we need to handle uh, is the is the login credentials what you need to do is to come over here sorry I'm going to use this shortcut here. Okay. Then you select sign in options, change password. You enter your current password by pasting it. Select next. And you change the password to the new password, which will cram very easy. Okay. And then you put in a hint, you save your password, you finish changing the password. Boom, our password has been changed. And and when you look at it, it is having a is having when you look these are the specs of our server and it is a south african server so hope you guys who have who fell in love with the south african servers so you can feel free to try it out and well you happen to enjoy these things if you have enjoyed if you love enjoyed this tutorial don't forget to subscribe to this channel and don't forget to share out to your friends so that they can also get more you know so with that our main scott uj meet another video god bless you